Thank you so much. The high school football season is heating up. It's already week five of the fever, and we hit the road for yet another rivalry. This week, Billingsley hosts Otagaville. WSFA 12 sports reporter Jamal Kennedy is in Billingsley with more on the matchup. Jamal? Hey, Val. Yeah, I'm celebrating week five of the fever with a little bit of frozen Italian ice here in Billingsley as the Bears take on the Otagaville Eagles tonight in the battle for the Golden Cleats. And uh, it's really just been it's been a fun afternoon. We heard from head coach Laney Jones in the last half hour of the 430 and his team is getting ready, trying to win back the trophy tonight. They lost last year and you heard it. He said they were up at halftime and kind of the game got away from them there in the second half. But we had the cheerleaders on earlier to help set the vibe for a Billingsley tonight and of course they'll have a DJ on hand tonight but across fever country you'll see marching bands trying to get their crowds and their teams inspired and and lit for the occasion and lit for the evening well the Prattville marching band and this week's jam with Jamal they're getting hyped for another reason they're getting hyped for Bantober it kind of compares to football season five weeks in a football season Drum major Caden Walker says the Prattville marching band is focused on one thing. We're just trying to get it perfect. Chasing perfection for something bigger. Guys, stop, stop the discussion. Competition season. We go to at least three competitions and we host our own here. So we started preparing that since July. I think we've got a good group this year and I think they're they're buying into the things that we're talking about as far as getting ready and prepared. Set 24 to 25, set. How it feels like, yeah, our big time to go and to the band, competitions are like halftime all day long. What makes it fun for me is being able to go and see what other bands were able to put on the field from July until now and how we compare to them. While the Prattville Marching Band will be looking to come in first place, Director Chris King hopes his students indulge in the memories Ben Tober will create. Whether we score very high or, or win any competitions, I just want them to feel good about what they do and and uh, the memories and the experience of, of being in band. Now, the Prattville Marching Band has been building on its set list week after week after week as they've, as they've progressed through the Fever football season. And they'll look to put that culmination on the field as they compete in their competitions again beginning in October. And well, tonight, Val, we'll have this highlights, highlights from this game and across Fever country it's beginning at 7 o'clock. We'll hear from Otagaville coach Javaris Jackson. That's coming up in six sports. That'll be live as, again, we have the battle for the Golden Cleveland on deck tonight. I'm going to enjoy some ice if you don't mind, Val. <laughs> well, the weather is perfect for you to enjoy that. All right, thanks a lot. Some other games we'll be following tonight. Tallahassee at Marbury, Lanier versus Park Crossing, St. James at Selma Southside, Carver at Stanhope, Crenshaw at Hooper Academy, and so much more. Catch highlights of all these games and many more during WSFA 12 News at 10 on Friday Night Football Fever. That's on air and live on the WSFA 12 News app. Remember, we need you on our team to call in your score to the Fever hotline. Call 1-800-264-WSFA.